to Feed Your Parent by Ryan Miller. Matilda Macaroni wanted to try quiche. Her parents said not. The list of things Mr. and Mrs. Macaroni would eat was very short. Chicken, only in nugget form with barbecue sauce. Elbow macaroni, only mixed with orange-colored powder from a packet. Burgers, only from a bag with ketchup, fries, and a toy. Grilled cheese, only on white bread cut into triangles. Pizza, only topped with pepperoni and delivered to their door. Cereal, only if it was sugary and turned the milk into a different color. They refused to try anything else. Matilda first discovered she liked other foods when Grandma Macaroni bought over a pot of jambalaya f- over for a surprise treat one evening. Yuck, Matilda's dad said when he saw the pot. No way, Matilda's mom said when she smelled the steam. They pushed their plates to the center of the table and sulked, but Matilda was curious. The jambalaya was interesting. It was surprising. It was delicious. After that, Matilda tried new foods whenever she could. She got jumbo and goulash at Grandma's, sampled with some sushi at a sleepover, and polished off a plate of pork paprika on a play date. But... She soon realized that if she ever wanted to eat more than nuggets and noodles at home, she would have to have a commandeer. She would have to have a commandeer the kitchen and cook for herself. She started by learning how to crack eggs. First, she didn't tap them hard enough to break the shell. Then she tapped them a little too hard. Finally, she got it just right. She worked with her grandma to learn of oven safety and knife safety and and all the other safeties she could think of. She started reading cookbooks as bedtime stories. She gave her allowance to her babysitter to buy lo- to buy ingredients from the local farmers market. Matilda practiced with a willing grown-up whenever she could. Soon she had a perfect pelea, mastered miso soup, and conquered croquettes. She wanted to share every dish with her parents. She knew they would enjoy them, even if they only would try them. So she came up with a plan. Till I'll handle dinner tonight. She said one morning at breakfast, No quiche, her mom said. Nothing funny, her dad added. Burgers, Matilda said. Just burgers. Her parents were both running late, so they slurped the bright purple milk from the bottom of their bowls and agreed. That night, Matilda's parents stared skeptically at the food in front of them. This doesn't look like what I like. Her dad whined. It's a hamburger, Matilda said innocently. I'm going to warm up some leftovers, her mom said. The fridge is empty, her her dad yelped. No pizza, no nuggets. This is what's for dinner, Matilda said. If you're not hungry, you can eat. If you're hungry, you can eat. If you're not, don't. But I made this. And this is what we're having. You made this, Miss Macaroni asked. She lifted the bun and peered at the patty. There are mushrooms on it and green things. That's a regular, Matilda said. You're going to love it. Miss Macaroni raised one eyebrow, but then her stomach growled loudly. Our daughter made this, she said to her husband. She took the tiniest, teeniest bite. 
It's interesting, she said, chewing slowly. It's, it's surprising. It's delicious. Mr. Macaroni smiled politely at Matilda and took a teeny tiny bite of his own. Hey, this isn't bad, he said. Actually, it's good. I can make it again, Matilda said as her parents chowed down. Chowed down. Well, I was thinking that maybe I could try to bake a quiche first. I don't think you should do any more cooking, her dad replied. I think we should do it together. We can take turns picking recipes, her mom said. We might not like everything, but promise to try to anything, her dad finished. The next night, Matilda and her parents sprinkled some flowers onto the counter. They rolled out dough before ro- filling it with eggs, spinach, baked Swiss cheese, and more. The quiche was a hit, just as, as was just about anything they made. Fantastic fajadas, her dad said after he bit into a warm, handmade tortilla stuffed with steak, colorful, colorful peppers and onions. Excellent, uh, el, excellent eggplant parmesan, her mom said, while going back for a second slice of the purple vegetable with oregano spice sauce and mozzarella cheese. Paranormal foe. They both said as they leaned over their bowls and slurped up rice noodles floating in ginger scented beef and in ginger scented beef broth. You know, Matilda's mom said, talking talking around a mouthful of garlic naan and chicken tikka masala. I think it might be nice to try some jambalaya. They called up Grandma and asked her to bring over her signature dish. Amazing, Grandma exclaimed when she saw that Mr. and Mrs. Macaroni started eating with no complaints. Matilda, you've you've done a great job getting to try new foods. Thank you, Matilda said. Now, if only I could get them to keep their room clean the end hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching drop a like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe bye